Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. This time we're going to go over more Avatar stuff. Um, avatars is a very complicated topic, so this one is going to be uh, part four. Uh, but you may actually watch it as part one, depending on the order that you go through. It doesn't really matter. Um, so this one is going to be how to convert Unity package uh, files into a format or a structure that Neos can understand and use. This is a, quite a simple tutorial, and it's probably going to... Um, stop just before getting to the, you know the bit that you might need and that's because you're going to need to refer to the, the video description which has uh, links to other tutorials in this series which go over more details about how to set up an avatar once you have the files this is just how to acquire the files from a unity package and get them into a format or a structure that neos can understand so let's go ahead and get started um, I'm going to be using the Bunny Squad's Malgarucci uh, Unity package for this tutorial. The Bunny Squad is a community in VRChat that uh, are centered around the uh, uh, Nanachi or Malgarucci or various other uh, descriptions of that uh, avatar set. And uh, their version of the avatar is uh, freely available as a Unity package, so we're going to be using that one. They're a great community. Check them out. There'll be a link to their Discord in the video description as well. So to start with, we're going to go add Alt-Tab to... Uh, my browser here, and this is the uh, link that will be in the video description for the Money Squad's uh, Unity package. I have to go. I've gone ahead and downloaded that. I'm not going to download it again. It's in my downloads uh, section here as a Unity package. So I'm just going to click that, and you'll see that Unity opens. When Unity opens, it's going to ask you for a project to import the Unity package into. In this case, I suggest that you make a new Unity project just for this process. And the reason I do that is because uh, you're going to make a mess, essentially. If you're using it just to get the files in a structure that's suitable for um, Neos, then it's probably not going to compile as an actual Unity project. It's not going to be shippable as Unity game, etc. And it's also not going to work with the VRChat SDK or something like that. So I make a separate project, and then I just use it for... Um, opening up Unity packages for Neos. And so that's why I have a project here called Neos Unity Work. Uh, the version of Unity does not matter, provided it can open up Unity packages, which should be every version of Unity ever. So that's fine. So here I'm going to go ahead and select Neos Unity Work. And uh, the import process is going to start. The import process takes a long while, but I'm actually going to show you all of it so we can talk about some things whilst it happens, um, but also show you how it all works. So what a Unity package basically is, is a, a zip archive or a RAR archive of uh, files. You can see that the files have loaded up here. Great timing from Unity here. Um, you'll see that uh, Un Unity is saying, hey, I'd like to import these files from the Unity package. And you'll see a bunch of files here. Now, some of these can be used in Neos and some of them can't, and that's fine. Uh, we can actually just import them all and only use the ones we need to. So for example here, we can't use animation files yet. These are ne uh, Unity animation files. I almost said uh, Neos animation files. Neos doesn't have animation files yet. Um, these are Unity animation files. We can't use those. Uh, here are some FBX files. We can use those. Here are some MP3 files. We can use those. Here's a prefab. We cannot use that. Here are some uh, PNG texture files. We can totally use those. Um, here are some shaders. We cannot use those, but that doesn't matter because there is a equivalent shader inside Neos that we can use. So we're going to go ahead and hit import and I'll keep talking. So you'll see what it's doing now is it's um, extracting all the files from the Unity package. Like I said, it's basically a zip archive or a RAR archive. So it's just copying the files into the project. So you'll see here FBX, uh, meshes, words like that. Here's a blend file coming in, uh, all sorts of things coming in. Uh, once it's done the blend files, things should speed up. The blend files are usually the, 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 the biggest files. Here we go, here's some FPX files. Once the FPXs are done, you'll see some MP3s, and then we're done. And you'll see here on the left here that I've got a um, project browser, and inside the assets of the project, there's an avatars folder, and then Malgarucci's inside that, and that there's a Malgarucci scene here. I am going to double-click the scene, but you'll see that it doesn't really load effectively you can just about make out that there's a you know there's a there's a model in that scene there's some weird uh, camera stuff going on that i actually don't know what's going on there it doesn't actually matter i'm done with uh unity now i don't actually need to use unity anymore but i do actually need to use it for one more thing and that is if i go to assets avatars malgarucci right click this and do show an explorer You'll see it opens up my windows explorer so this is my actual computer and files within my computer and i can go inside malgarucci here Oops. And there'll be meshes, and inside here there's FBX files, and inside uh, texture there are um, texture files. 
And that's great. And it tells me the full folder path of this. So you'll see D, Documents, Unity, Neo's Unity Work, Assets, Avatars, Malgarucci, Texture is where the texture files are. And I can go uh, up one here and you'll see Meshes. And then there's uh, Blank FBX, Complete FBX, Divided FBX, etc. That's great. So I can actually go ahead and close Unity now. I don't need it anymore. It's done its uh, job for this particular use case, and I can tab back into Neos. Once I'm inside Neos, I can go ahead and open up my file browser. So tools, file browser. And you'll see that I've already navigated. I'm gonna go up a couple of levels just to show you though. Uh, so here I am inside my computer, D, Documents, Unity, Neos work. You can do that manually. Um, I'm not going to, but you know, you can get there manually. I'm just showing you that this is exactly the same folder as was shown in uh, Windows Explorer. And then I can go inside Assets, I can go inside Avatars, and I can go inside Malgarucci, and you'll see I'm exactly where I was um, in Windows Explorer and in Unity a couple of minutes ago. So now I can go inside the texture folder here and I'm gonna grab the Malgarucci texture and I'm gonna say image texture. And there you go. That's the Malgarucci's uh, texture. And then I'm gonna go to meshes and I'm gonna import divided. Uh, I just know divided takes a little bit uh, shorter amount of time to import and it's a little bit more flexible. Uh, regular auto humanoid height, import now. Good, import now, there we go. So that's gonna come in. Uh, whilst it's coming in, I'm gonna uh, explain why we're now gonna leave off from this. Uh, once this is imported, this is pretty much the end of the tutorial. I've shown you how to get the files into Neos. If you wanna go further than this, for example, how to set up a material for this avatar, or how to import other FBX files, or texture files, or setting up an avatar exactly, I have um, other tutorial videos for that that I recorded in the past historically. And those are done with me being in VR, and uh, there's a lot more sort of control I have when I'm in VR. Um, the desktop mode for Neos is still in development right now. So there's a couple of things I can't do, for example, in uh, desktop mode right now. You can do them, I just don't know how. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. You can see that I've got the file in from the Unity package. I've got the texture in. And if I go ahead and follow the contents from those previous videos that I mentioned, which will be in the video description, then you'll be able to set this up as an avatar. So go ahead, check out the video description for more information on how to finish up this avatar. I hope that helps. You should be able to import everything from a uh, Unity package that uh, is compatible with Neos. So like I said, not animation files, not prefabs, not shaders, but pretty much everything else should be fine. Um, once the Unity package is uh, imported into a Unity project, it just turns into files on your computer and you can import them into Neos as you would any other files. I will see you next time. I hope that helps. Bye-bye.